Hi, my name is Elizabeth McCarty and I'm the current mission manager for the CPF school. And I'd love to talk to you today about what our school is going to be. We are standing over here at the airport, looking down onto our site. This is my, my Malka side, this is my Mackay side. Our job trailer and staging area is right through here. We have a ring road around the perimeter of the property. This ring road will be fire access. This whole road is asphalt leading up through the parking lot, which will be parking, which will be asphalt as well too. We have approximately um, 100, 110 parking spots through here. These parking areas are terraced a little bit coming up through here. Um, this ring road is at a higher elevation than the rest of the property, but we do slope down to where we can have a relatively flat property for ADA accessibility. We have on site planned 30 classrooms. 20 of our classrooms are our B buildings, which are a little bit smaller buildings. They are 960 square feet. They have a, um, a sink within them. They are all accessible with an ADA ramp. The A buildings down here are more for your kindergarten students and your special ed students. These all have a full ADA bathroom within them. And again, they are all accessible with an ADA ramp. We have located a kindergarten playground that is fenced in, in addition to a much bigger play area for the older students. We are also providing a basketball goal that has two different sized basketball nets, one for the bigger students and one for the smaller students. In addition to the classrooms that we have, we also have a maintenance building. We have a learning resources building, which will house our health clinic and our library, as well as some offices. We have an administrative building, which will house um, the office space and um, the workroom for the teachers. We also have a community space, which does have adult bathrooms attached to it. This community space will be allowed for arts and crafts, music, and different meetings for the community as well. We do have a dining room and food services area um, with additional bathroom units attached to here. We will be preparing the food offsite and bringing it to the school, but we are able to, to store and prepare the food for the students to come and eat, where we will be serving approximately 200 students at a time. In addition, we also have this covered open space. This will be a, a covered space, which will have a, a metal roof over it. It will have a stage and it will allow us to have outdoor assemblies for the students. In addition to this covered space, we also have this walkway at drop off that will be covered with a canopy. Um, around the perimeter within this, we do have the school is completely fenced in. We have four um, fire standpipes located around the school. Um, these standpipes make it easier for the fire um, trucks to access water in case of emergency. There are also gates at those locations for um, egress and emergency evacuation for the students as well. Um, the entire property that you see that's green right within here will be sodded with zoysia grass and we do have an automatic sprinkler inside of them. Each of the build, B buildings have um, a manual pull switch for fire that is located to a central um, responding unit that will be sent to offsite monitoring. The larger buildings all have an automatic alarm system. The school is designed for approximately 600 students. It does have the ability to go up to approximately 700 students at this time. So each of the buildings come with air conditioned units, as well as they are hardwired for internet um, with electricity. These are modular units. They are all eight by 20 modular units that are put together like Legos to come up with the classroom spaces that we have. As you come in up Akaleli Street from the highway, you will come in and we will have the parents make a queue, come around to load and unload their students at a covered walkway. This whole walkway will be covered canopy so that protect the students coming in. Pretty much everything you see here, the core is providing we are building as part of our contract. What's not included, the DOE will be supplying the, the fixtures, the furnishings, the equipment. So the desk, the whiteboard, um, they will be providing the quick kitchen equipment and the tables and chairs in here. Um, 
they will be providing the, the play equipment for the kindergarten as well as the bigger playground as well too.